The Narcissist's Golden Rule. Do you remember learning the golden rule growing up? Remember how it goes? Treat others as you would like to be treated. I'm sure there are slight variations to the wording, but the message is universal. When you treat someone with kindness and respect, there's an expectation that comes with that, and that expectation is to be treated equally, with the same kindness and respect. Well, unfortunately, narcissists never learn that rule. As a matter of fact, they have their own golden rule, and that's what I'm going to be discussing today. So grab a drink and hang out with me for the next few minutes, and let's get into this. There's one thing I won't blame a narcissist for. I won't blame them for their childhood and the way they were raised. I totally get that. I witnessed several kids growing up in unstable households. I saw them being treated poorly by their parents. I watched them grow up with little or no guidance, and I saw them being mistreated. Those things weren't their fault. But what I also witnessed was a lot of those kids found ways to overcome that bad upbringing and grew up to be fine, upstanding citizens. And a lot of those mistreated kids I grew up with, they're still friends to this day and don't appear to have any negative residual effects from their poor childhoods. The reason they were able to overcome all that negative shit they had to deal with is because they made a choice to rise above it and develop their own identity over time. They refused to grow up and treat other people the way their parents treated them. Unfortunately, there were others that chose to grow up and blame their childhood. They use their bad childhood as an excuse for why they've become what they are, and they don't have any desire to change. So instead of embracing the golden rule, they made up their own golden rule, and it goes something like this. Treat others however I need to in order to get whatever I want. You're probably watching this video because you're either involved with a narcissist or you're trying to figure out if you're involved with one. And it's not always easy to spot the signs. It can take some time. So here's a quick and easy test to confirm your suspicions. Does everything have to revolve around this person? Does it seem that the more you give, the more they take? Do they ever really do anything significant for you? And when it seems they're treating you good, or if they do happen to do something for you, do they follow that good deed with another requirement from you? Is there always another need that they expect you to fulfill? Hey guys, if you're nodding your head yes to all these questions right now, and you're going along with these things, it means you're living up to the narcissist's golden rule, not the one you learned as a kid. And you know what? Shame on all of us for that. And I include myself in that shame because having the real golden rule ingrained in my mind all these years, I somehow lost sight of that when I was in my relationships. And yep, that's plural. I've been in more than one. When I look back on everything now, I have such a clear sight of what was happening to me. But back then, I abandoned my core values. I sacrificed my own beliefs. I convinced myself that the way I was being treated was just a short phase, maybe just some growing pains in the relationship. Boy, was I wrong. It was only when I regained that sight of what I believe in that I was able to stand up, dust myself off, and start building myself back up to the man I was before my toxic relation took hold of me. When I finally got my head back on straight and got back to acting the way I should have all along, my abuser couldn't take it. They couldn't handle how nice I was treating them. They preferred to argue and try to treat me like shit. They enjoyed that part of the relationship. I learned that what they couldn't stand was being around someone so positive, someone who was happy and outgoing, someone who got back to following the real golden rule. I stopped doing all those stupid little favors. 
I stopped dropping everything for them and I started doing more things for myself, for my own sanity. And when I stuck to my positive traits and values and refused to get down in the weeds for another second with her, she pretty much tapped out. She found someone else. Yep, she started cheating. And you know what? I was just fine with that. It actually made my life so much easier. I knew I was finally going to be free of all the bullshit. And whoever the unlucky guy was that she hooked up with, boy, did I feel sorry for him. The main reason I wanted to make this video, guys, is to remind all of us, as we've gotten older, I think we've maybe kind of lost our way. And what I mean by that is, we've let some of our values slip a little bit. We've let our guard down. I think it's time we do ourselves a favor and start to focus more on our own positive values and share those values with everyone we meet. We should also slow things down a little bit with any potential serious relationships and take a closer look at who and what we are dealing with. And if the person you get involved with isn't following the golden rule or can't seem to deal with the golden rule, and live by it like you do, they don't deserve to be in your life. You don't want anything to do with them anyway. When you notice the narcissist trying to use their golden rule with you, it's time to let them know you refuse to live by that rule any longer. You've been through all this shit before, and if you're going through it right now, put a stop to it. Enough is enough already. As soon as you start to sense a potentially bad situation might result in being with this person, get out before anything bad can happen to you emotionally. Because I promise, that's what always ends up happening. And it's why you're here right now. You let the narcissist invade your life and let them suck you in so deep you aren't sure what to do next. So do yourself a huge favor today and start following the golden rule. Develop a plan to rid yourself of this toxic person, because I can promise you this, things will never get better if you follow their golden rule. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep looking out for those signs. Stay alert, be vigilant, be strong, be brave, and go live your best life today.